So we are going to read Booper Dwayne's Big. An almost true story of apprenticeship. And I love how Elaine dedicated this book. She dedicated it to the best friends, teachers, counselors, parents, and believers who work so hard to make our dreams come true. And I know all of you have lots of people in your lives who help make your dreams come true too. So that makes me very happy. Okay, here we go. It was 10 o'clock on a warm summer night and Booper, the dog, was stargazing at his usual place at the window. Every night, Booper's human, Allison, would call him for bedtime. And every night, he would ask for five more minutes to watch the stars. You said that 10 minutes ago, Allison exclaimed. I know, Booper replied. They're just so beautiful. Looking at him curiously, Allison asked, You really love the stars, don't you? Booper wagged his tail in reply. His human thought for a moment. Come on, I want to show you something, she said. Allison opened NASA's website on her computer. She clicked through photos of stars more beautiful than Booper had ever imagined. Where did these pictures come from, he gasped. Satellites with cameras float out in space and take the photos, Allison explained. Dad said they're making a new satellite even better than this one. <coughs> a new satellite? Booper imagined how good it would feel to share his love of stars with the rest of the world. He turned to his human with pleading eyes. Allison, can I help build a new satellite? Oh, of course, she explained. But I think you will need some training before you can join the team. The next day, the two set out to find someone who could help Booper achieve his dream. Dad, can you show us how to use the wrench so Booper can build a satellite? Allison asked. What? Sweetheart, Booper can't build anything. He's a dog, her dad replied. Booper began to protest but I think I could be really good at it. No, Booper, you're too small and you don't have any thumbs, Allison's dad said. It would be too hard for you to build a satellite. I'm sorry, buddy. But Booper and Allison would not take no for an answer. They were determined to find someone who could show Booper how to build a satellite. Off they went to find a teacher. But it was harder than they expected. I'm sorry, I don't know much about satellites, said the crossing guard. Space? No way, that's scary, replied the class pet. Dogs don't build satellites, said the grumpy garden snail. Go home. After a long day, 
Booper's tail hung low, and he dragged his feet along the sidewalk. Allison knew her friend was beginning to lose hope. It's not over yet, she declared. Maybe we've just been asking the wrong people. Come on, I know where we should go next. To the bus. At the station, Allison bought two tickets downtown to find a real satellite engineer. Booper wasn't sure if an engineer could help, but at least he enjoyed the trip. As soon as they stepped off the bus, Allison walked into the office and saw a man holding a clipboard. I bet he can help us. People with clipboards always do important things. She called out to the man, excuse me, my dog has a question for you. Turning to Booper, she gave her dog a nudge. Go ahead, ask him. Booper took a deep breath and sat straight up. I love the stars. When I look at them, I feel brave, like I can do anything. I want to help build the new satellite so everybody can see the stars and feel brave too. But I don't know how satellites work. The engineer smiled at Booper. I think we have just the job for you. How would you like to join our registered apprenticeship program? What's that? Booper asked. It sounds difficult, and I am just a beginner. An apprenticeship is a training program that helps you become an expert in a job. It's okay that you're a beginner. We'll teach you everything you need to know. Our team is always looking for enthusiasm like yours, the engineer said. Really? Booper exclaimed. Then, I'll become an apprentice. Allison tapped her dog's shoulder. There might be a problem. I spent my whole allowance on our bus tickets. I can't pay for an apprenticeship. Actually, the engineer explained, an apprenticeship is like any other job. So, we'll pay you while you learn. and would help him grow at every step of the program. Booper met lots of new friends who loved space and stars just as much as he did. There were friends who were tall and friends who were short, 
some with feathers, some with fur, even some with scales. He grinned at his new classmates. We're going to be the best apprentices ever, and hardly any of us have thumbs. <laughs> Green summer leaves turned golden, then fell as week after week passed by. Booper learned how to use tools, how satellites worked, and how to keep his fellow trainees safe. He worked alongside experienced engineers and loved to ask them questions. When tools were hard to use, without thumbs, he asked for different ones. With his new tools, Booper was able to achieve every task his team asked of him. For almost a year, he trained and he learned. Oh, you can tell, it was hard work, but Booper's dream was too important to give up. At last, Booper finished his program and earned his certificate. You're a good boy, Booper. I'm very proud of you, the engineer said. Thank you, Mr. Engineer. I couldn't have done it without you and Allison. Soon, the new satellite was finished and ready to launch. The whole world watched as it flew in a rocket up to the sky. Then, they waited for the satellite to take its first photos and send them back to Earth. When the pictures came back, the scientists were amazed. I've never seen anything like these two stars, one woman exclaimed. We'll have to name them, another scientist said. The engineer smiled. I know just what we should call them. Ready for bed, Booper? Allison asked. Five more minutes. I'm watching our stars, said Booper. Allison gasped and ran to the window. You can see them tonight. Will you show me? Booper adjusted the telescope for her. Wow. I think our stars might be my favorite in the whole sky, Allison said. Mine too, Booper agreed. And look at, there they are. Brave Booper and Allison the Believer. The end.